Tundra Nation, with the US economy spiraling down faster than a United Airlines flight piloted by an educationally different DEI hire, a lot of you out there might find yourself a little strapped for cash. I don't have any money, dude! Okay. I'm broke, man! Okay. My life sucks! I, I understand that. You're making okay. it worse! Whether you're eating bologna on white bread twice a day or seeing if your current pair of underwear can hold out for another year before it needs to be changed again, you're more short on incoming funds than Whoopi Goldberg's OnlyFans page. So you find yourself shooting an F-tier poverty pony gat. You assure everybody that you see that it is in fact just as good, but what does your just as good gun say about you? If you shoot a burst of thunder, it means you are the 007 of the trailer park, and that's not just your lot number. You consider yourself a suave undercover operator, but the only covers you've ever been under are when you scurry under your neighbor's tarp to steal his rust-encrusted craftsman tool set while he's out hunting skunks. That doesn't make any sense! You've been in trouble with the cops so many times you introduce yourself as Bonds bail bonds and you take your jim beam and rc cola cocktail shaken not stirred gee i wonder who that could be ricky life isn't about getting drunk and eating chicken fingers all the time all right you nicknamed your appendix carry holster thunderballs and you know that your trusty bursa's eight rounds of 380 is more than enough to fend off any attack from the hungry possums or even the alimony collectors visiting on behalf of your four ex-wives Never mind that it doesn't function reliably. The Burst of Thunder is the working man's PPK. Maybe you could even call it the PPOK. The closest thing that you have to a tux is a sweatshirt with slightly fewer mustard stains. And the closest that you've ever come to taking a high speed ride in a European sports car was when you threw yourself in front of that BMW, hoping to get the insurance payout. Well, that didn't work. That thunder, well, it makes you feel like a man with a golden gun. But since you never got your license to kill and your license to forklift was suspended following the fireworks warehouse incident, well, the thunder is just going to have to be your secret weapon. Hey, if you want something that will actually run and was made to standards, then you should check out CMMG and their new Mark 47 Descent, available in 16-inch and now 12.5-inch variants. Combined with these zeroed muzzle devices that come as standard, this is truly the next step in innovation for the fans of the 7.62x39 cartridge. If that's not your style, CMMG has something for everybody, from your standard ARs to 22 conversion kits and heck, even the 5.7 Banshee. CMMG has all your needs for quality guns to fit any role. So go click the link in the description below and get yourself an upgrade today. Oh yeah, don't forget to tell them Tundra sent you. If your primary is a kel RDB, it means you're doing your best to live in the cyberpunk world of tomorrow today. At least, that's what you've told yourself since you can't afford a military-grade bullpup like a Tavor or even an Aug. You feel as futuristic and as cool as Keanu in The Matrix or Harrison in Blade Runner, but your budget, well, it's more along the lines of Justin. You know, that minimum wage shift supervisor over at Hot Topic? Yeah, that guy. You have 90s industrial metal on your Discman, but since your credit score is lower than Johnny Monomic's box office, you're relegated to that mainstay of Florida space magic, Caltech. Known for making firearms that look so hideous, H.R. Geiger thinks they've gone too far. Caltech is the perfect gun maker for the cyberpunk net hacker on the cheap. Sure, clearing constant jams is extra difficult when wearing black trench coats and Ray-Bans, but it is worth it for the cool points. I'm thinking of getting metal legs. It's a risky operation, but it'll be worth it. The FUD range officer may not understand what you mean when you tell him you're practicing your bullet time as you bend backwards in slow motion, but hey, he's just living in the past. Not like you, bud. You have Static X and Fear Factory CDs pumping in your car stereo because you can see the sci-fi vision of the future today. Future's now, old man. And that world is ruled by ARs being replaced by ultra-affordable bullpups, all of which involve keyholing projectiles and failure to feed malfunctions that are strangely confusing to clear. Stay strong, RDB fan. Stay strong. If your main gun is a heritage Rough Rider, fuck you. 
Jesus Christ. You can't afford a Colt single action army or a Ruger Blackhawk, so you'll have to settle for being a buckaroo on a budget, I guess. The tough guy name is overcompensation for shooting what basically amounts to an unjumped version of Ralphie's Red Rider BB gun. Ho, ho, ho. No! Not only do you not have the money for a wheel gun chambered in a big boy cartridge, you have a nasty bitch flinch that means magnum calibers are right out of the question. Your nickname is Clint East Wouldn't, and the only cattle that you qualified to herd are the smaller, weaker gophers who are intimidated by your cheap pea shooter. It's just as well because the rusty mildew smelling box of Remington Thunderbolt that you have moldering away in your shed is your entire ammo supply for the rest of the year. So make the most of it, Wyatt Derp. Oh, and before you ask, don't bother looking into the Rough Rider with the threaded barrel and the optics rail. There is no force multiplier in this world that can make your lowly mouse popper anything other than a wannabe wheel gun with cowboy aspirations. But don't be too sad because boots, sets and hats, and chaps wouldn't have looked good on you anyways. Trust, trust me. That's gross. That's a gross way to live. If your gun is any Anderson AR, it means your aspirations are army battalion, but your income is poverty stallion. You can't afford a Daniel Defense or a Bravo company, but you're confident that your rifle will withstand anything. Except there is one problem that you didn't count on. No, yeah, that was ammo prices going up this year. So your little poverty pony is gonna launch more memes than it does bullets. Man, that sucks! Yeah. When you do make it to the range, your Chinesium light, optic, and sling, all of which were sourced from the elite world military provider known as Wish.com, are just gonna crap out faster than a Labradoodle that just swadoodled a dozen MREs. I made that word up. And if your ramen diet loadout survives, your $500 rifle probably won't. Anderson Rifles have an approval rating hovering somewhere between 2024 Biden and 2022 Kanye. Think of that. You've just gotten used to being the one in your friend group that has to put a pause on drills because you're clearing out your jams. In fact, you're starting to hear the nickname Jamderson floating around. And, uh, you know, you, you don't know how you feel about it. I guess you're okay with it because you're a proud Anderson tactical dude and you're going to ride out any SHTF catastrophe by playing Call of Duty and just waiting for the chicken tendies to be served. Chicken, give me tendies. Oh boy, if your concealed carry pistol of choice is a sky, well... You're not even able to attempt the just as good argument, man. You're simply hoping that whoever is assaulting you feels sorry and quits. But I pity the fool. It's a known fact that if you're standing up to a home intruder using a sky, the criminal will give up, leave you the cash he himself was carrying, and crawl out that window in pity. You impatiently spend every free dollar you get so you never have enough money for like a P365 or heck even a Smith & Wesson Shield Plus, but you're hoping you won't even need it. A Sky Pistol, well, it's its own special kind of deterrent. If you're in a self-defense scenario, simply pull out your Sky, it will instantly freeze up as if to say, hey, look at this pathetic individual. Are you sure you want to mug them? And then, you know, the Sarah McLaughlin song from the ASPCA ads will start playing in the mugger's head. A single tear will roll down his cheek and he will know an anguish so profound, it'll make Les Mis look like Animal House by comparison. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you paint a picture. Good job, new writer. Way to go, buddy. This is a heretofore unimagined. That's how you know this is a new writer, by the way, because I just said heretofore. I would have never said that. This is a heretofore unimaginable depth of human suffering, and no hardened criminal could be so cold and so heartless as to steal the wallet of somebody as tragic as the Sky Carrier. Le who? The her. That's when you run away. You, the Sky Owner, are the world's classic sad case. You're like Charlie Brown, except even less funny. 
you throw yourself birthday parties for one and are somehow disappointed with the only present that you get. Your coworker does kind of feel sorry for you and tries to give you an invite to the just for friends Thanksgiving dinner he's putting on, but then he decides he doesn't want to depress the other guests and gives you the wrong address. When you go to the range, you expect your gun to malfunction, so you just say, screw it, give up after five rounds and go home. But cheer up, you sad sack. There are actually decent, just as good pistols that work, you know, if you're just willing to spend like an extra hundred dollars. That alone should have you reaching for the sky. <laughs> oh, they're going to kill me. If your primary rifle is the Sentry Arms Visca or Vishka, however you want to pronounce it, you're a special Kalashnikov flavored variant of the Just As Good family. A Soviet conscript would take one look at your domestically produced long stroke shit stick and say, Niet, comrade, rifle is not fine. Because that dumpster fire is so out of spec and ready to explode, it's only a matter of time before the Trunyan reenacts the Mr. Creosote scene from Meaning of Life. Seriously, how could anybody get a rifle as simple, rugged, and dependable as the AK wrong? Ask Sentry, I guess, because the rifle you got for not being able to afford a Zostava or an Arsenal is about as reliable as an ashtray on a motorcycle. It's about as reliable as a sundial at midnight. It's about as reliable as a Nigerian bank account. Sorry, I got so carried away with trashing on your AK, I forgot what the punchline was about. Reliability, hey. The other AK guys will never respect you and that's saying something because AK guys honestly are barely literate and shower less frequently than an unemployed Frenchman. You aspire to a PSA, which is kind of weird. It's kind of like saying you aspire to drive a Hyundai because all you could afford at the time was a Ford Pinto in self-destruct mode. A strong example of the Kalashnikov tradition. You ain't, bud. Your just as good gun makes you a pathetic bastard son of Stalin's iron strong fighting force. Instead of fighting for the motherland, you live in your mother's basement. Instead of a workers revolt, you are simply revolting. Instead of the people's army, you got fired from old Navy. You, the Visca shooter, are without an ounce of hyperbole, the worst result of communism. While we are on the topic of guns that are going to explode, uh, let's not forget about Turkish shotguns, shall we? If your main shotgun is an ultra cheap Turkish import, it means you are so low on the firearms totem pole, you couldn't even aspire to a $200 Maverick 88. Everybody knows the Maverick 88 is a perfectly reliable, perfectly good 12 gauge that works when you need it and will not break the bank. To seek out an even cheaper compromise means you have no bank to break. You literally must be devoid of any money. You must barter objects that you find in the streets and eat berries that you picked in the forest like some kind of medieval hobo. If your taste in guns were any cheaper, it'd be a spoonful of gunpowder dropped down an open end of a bamboo tube and fired by smashing two pieces of flint together. Ouch. But don't worry, your suffering will be over soon because your gun is going to explode and kill you any day now. Congratulations, this is mostly not a joke. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. Cheap Turkish shotguns do not work and should not be trusted for anything except the cheap entertainment of watching James Reeves lose his mind and destroy them on YouTube. Thanks, James. God, you're a blessing. These guns are so poor and so beneath consideration, they literally can't find a brand name worth sticking to for more than like two model years, I guess. Seriously, these things have more code names than any given member of the Wu-Tang Clan. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. What are they called again? What is it? Panzer, Tristar, Hatsan, Charles, Daily, Akar, 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 Akbar, Akbar. It's a trap. And we continue our tour of just as good Sylvania with another visit to Turkey to check out the ultimate cope handgun, the TSAS 1911. If you own a TSAS 1911, you secretly wish to have the old school macho image of an American badass, but your budget, well, it looks like more uh, boomer pension plan. 1911s don't necessarily have to be unreliable turds, but the good ones that run reliably cost way more money than you're able to spend. So instead of a quality bull armory or a Dan Wesson, you jumped on the first piece of Istan bullshit that you could find. 
<laughs> Start that one over, shall we? So instead of a quality bull armory or a Dan Weston, you jumped on the first piece of Istanbul shit you could find in a Black Friday sale, and now you have a handgun that's about as trustworthy as a windowless white panel van with the words kindergarten school bus spray painted on the side. Come on, man. How many push-ups you want to do here, pal? I don't even have to describe what you look like because we already know what you look like. But looks, they can be deceiving. And in this case, they've deceived you into believing you could get a pistol created in the era of hand-fitting and fine precision metallurgy for the price of a Taurus G3C. The essence of all just as goodism is self-delusion and you're convinced you've got a true winner. Sure, she can't quite make it through a magazine without a few stovepipes, regardless of what type of ammo that you're using, and she's about as accurate as draining the weasel at 4 a.m. while drunk, but that's just due, of course, to the break-in period. You know, the way all good guns need 10,000 rounds to break in. You, the teat sauce owner, are the ultimate copium addict. You need to attend a Copaholics Anonymous 12-step program. Subscribe, folks.